Hi, I'm Martin Pierser and today I uh, will make a track with these three machines that are the Circuit Tracks, Circuit Mono Station and the Mambin B33. If you missed the video about this machine I will put a link down or right here. How does it work this configuration? We have the Circuit Tracks that acts like a drum machine and a sequencer for both the analog machines via MIDI. So I set up the MIDI one here to the channel 3 and MIDI 2 on channel 4 and connect on both machines. You can set a MIDI through of the circuit tracks to work as a MIDI out for the, for the synth. If I press play, it's already synced. Let's make a track from scratch. I wanna make a house track. I wanna start from the, from the melody. So let's find a preset that we like. Let's set the tempo to 128. The reverb, mid. A little bit. Full velocity. Okay, this long 1032, duplicate. Okay, I wanna change the presets. this okay I like it we can improvise some bass I guess I like this patch we can play here Let's see how this is sound. I should record this. So 32 lengths, duplicate. Let's try again. Nice. We already set up the sidechain here. Okay. So we'll put this here. Reduce the decay of the sample. And set up the velocity like this. Let's boost the high frequency and reduce the volume on the mixer. Maybe we can add uh, yeah, a bit of distortion on the clap and a bit of high frequencies. Okay, okay let's go to the right. Lower the volume like this. Okay, let's save it for now. I wanna add a 
feel free. Is it baseline? this so I can make 32 length I'm gonna play slowly like this okay so the first chore will be classic C minor then Then again a C minor. Nine. And then again. Okay, let's adjust the gate length. Let's hear it with the shorts. With the reverb. Let's volume. I like it. Now maybe we can save this to a scene. So for example this. And then enable the to save the mixer state on the scene. So now we can duplicate this scene here. But I don't want to start with the drums, like the kick. Only the chords, so shift and save here. So every time uh, I call this scene, it will play only the the chords on the scene two with the cutoff filter down. Let's duplicate this here, and I want to play the chords, the bass, and the clap. So this one save here, and we slightly increase the cutoff filter. Yeah, I like it. Let's duplicate here the scene and we had the kick. And then again here with the hi hats. We can add a bit of swing. Yeah. 
Yeah, it sounds good for me. So we already saved this here. I don't want to play the kick, only the chords, the bass and this two. Okay, and here again, we can create a build up part. Okay, let's copy this here. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And then another part here, nothing here, so all together will sound like this. Okay, maybe only these two and the second part, you can duplicate this. And we'll add the micro step here. Let's try. Maybe the last one will leave empty. And this scene, I don't want the bass to. And then drop. So the drop will be something like... Three hours later. And the song will finish. So the final song We'll chain together. Maybe it will be too fast, or maybe not. No, the length is okay. Oh, I know. This part, the scene will not jump on the other scene until the sequence will end. So by default, we play uh, every, every time this sequence. So it's fine for us, for this, this, this. Maybe for this part, we don't want this. Let's see. Yeah, it will repeat itself. Okay, so in this particular case, we choose another empty pattern. It will now play correctly, with the right time, I guess. Okay, I like this, but not with the right. Okay, for this, for this, for this. Okay, we can leave it with this. Okay. Thank you for watching and enjoy the final bit.